how does Nat Turner's story relate to us? First, with respect to faith, he was a man of faith. And this isn't a revenge movie. Let's make no mistake. This is about a, this is about a person that sat himself in his faith. He said, if I'm to be a person of God, if, if, if this Bible that you gave me is real and this God is real, then you're wrong. And if you're wrong, then and I'm a shepherd of people, I have to do something about it. And through that became his, 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 uh, his resistance. He waited on the Lord. He was known to constantly be in prayer. So the question is, like, resistance, what does that look like? Right? And if we are to call ourselves a nation under God, and, we're, and a lot of us, we, we, we pray, we talk about, but are we playing God? Are, 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 we, are we asking ourselves, you know, as Christian people, are we called to be Christ-like? Are we called, called to, like in the film, use the tool to get what we want? Because that's the thing. People say, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm like, well, I'm a Christian too. What kind of Christian are you? Are you a Nat Turner Christian? <laughs> or are you a Christian like those who hung him and skinned him and crushed his flesh to grease? I think we got to wrestle with that when it comes to faith. Wow. You know, so with this, when you ask why is it important, here's a man that saw that not, not slavery as insidious people looking to beat black flesh, but a system of oppression that, like you said, allowed people to treat other people a certain way. Even the most well-intentioned people were corrupted. You know, I tried to make a film that didn't have bad white people and sad black people. We've seen that before. Mm -hmm. I tried to make something much more complex because that's what I believe slavery was, not just about picking cotton, but the psychological bondage that we can pass down into right now in 2016. Right.